Hi, this is Sammy reporting live from Children's Cancer Research Fund and uh, the Sobiex basement. This is Mitchell Klusner, also reporting live from the Children's Cancer Research Fund and Zach's Sobiex basement. Um, this is our first doing first time doing Facebook Live, as um, yeah. I know you can't tell, but we actually have a live uh, in studio audience today. Um, you're just gonna have to trust us on that, but they're they're back over there, and you know we have the Sobiacs backing us up too. Hello, everyone. Lovely family portraits. Yes, I got the guitar Zach's got up there. So thanks, Zach. Yeah, um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we got some songs for you today. Oh boy, do we. <laughs> And uh, we can't see you, as you know, so, um, you know, I guess that's no pressure for you and all the pressure for us, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, should we, do you want to maybe introduce yourself a little bit? Oh, Sammy? yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm Sammy. I feel like I know a lot of you tuning in, probably, but um, maybe others know me from the movie or they don't know me at all, and you're just, like, scrolling and you're like, what is this, and um, why is she looking in a random direction and doesn't know how to do this, but, yeah, uh, so I know <laughs> Zach and I wrote music together, um, but we knew each other since we were kids. Our moms were best friends, and we went on camping trips together, um, and we we're just great friends, and we started writing music together when we were about um, 17, <laughs> and we ended up writing a bunch of music that would be in a movie someday, and thank God we didn't know that, because uh, I don't think the music would have been written, but... Who are you? Oh, How'd I'm you Mitch. Here? I'm oh, uh, also innocent. a friend of you and Zach Sobiax. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, we were friends in high school, and we uh, also wrote music together. And uh, yeah, um, we've uh, been friends now for seven, ten years, I think. Yeah. I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate yours too. Thank you, Sammy. Thank you as well. Glad we could be here today. <laughs> so we get the show on the road. Yeah, when we play a song, do you uh, do you have any ideas for maybe? We should play I don't first. know, just like um, pulling this out from a hat, but uh, maybe like star hopping. Ooh, that's a that's a classic from a firm handshake. From a firm handshake, circa yes. 2013. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's do it. Okay. All right. <laughs> this one's for you, Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk, are you here? It's called star hopping. <laughs>
Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> huh? Oh my gosh, $255 already. All right, we got $255. Who's got $300? Let's go. Ooh, let's keep it going. Uh, okay, so this next song is by a guy. You know him, you love him. His name's Jeremy Messer Smith. He's local to Minnesota. Yes, he is. Minneapolis Mitch original. Mitch actually introduced me to him about. I don't know, eight, ten years? I don't know. A while ago. A while ago. A while ago. And what's a cool thing that happened with him the other day? Oh, yeah. He he tagged us, I think, in a... He, well, he first, he recorded uh, Clouds and made his own rendition of it. So that's online. You can see that. Um, I think it was a great great honor. Zach loved uh, Jeremy, so it's a lot of fun to see that. Yeah. And, and uh, that's actually the first song that the three of us ever performed together at Stillwater Area High School Coffee House. Um, and I remember... We were all at my house before, and um, Mitch and Zach and my mom were all, like, whispering and, like, looking at me nervously. And I was like, what's happening? What are you guys talking about? And they're like, um, we didn't want to tell you because we didn't want you to get nervous, but the news people are coming, and um, good luck. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, who's starting this rumor that I get nervous before performance? How are you feeling now, Santa? I'm feeling, like, better than ever <laughs> before in my life. <laughs> um, no. Uh, it's really, yeah, we love Jeremy Messersmith, and um, here's a song called Tomorrow. Will I see you again, same time tomorrow? Well, I hope so. Let's watch the midnight sky, and we won't say goodbye until tomorrow. Yesterday is gone, today is almost over. Come on, let's stay up late, and we'll turn our today into tomorrow. Today is all we've got, a moment here tonight. And if tomorrow never comes, I'll be standing with the one I love. Time to say goodnight, and then you kiss me sweetly. Let's watch the morning break, cause some things just can't wait until tomorrow. Woo. Nice. Good one. That's a good one. That's, That's a good fun. one. Yeah. And then I think we have a little video to show now. In three. Two. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Cancer is very really smart. And every time we think we have a cure, cancer cells develop ways of outsmarting us. We really need to be creative in thinking about what's going to work best for children. These researchers and these doctors want it just as much as the parents do. We are so lucky to have the Children's Cancer Research Fund to support us. We're trying to save our kids. Everything else can just wait. You can help us outsmart cancer. Join the fight at childrenscancer.org. Cool. So for those who are just tuning in here on Facebook Live, uh, this is Mitch and Sammy. We're here today uh, with Children's Cancer Research Fund doing a little bit of a show to uh, raise some money. So you may have just seen that PSA vid um, about uh, what Children's Cancer Research Fund do, does. So... Uh, what are you thinking, Sammy? Well, I'm thinking this is kind of perfect for you to talk about oh, why because is that? Um, I distinctly remember visions of you in like a white lab coat at some point. Oh, that's right. Maybe that was Halloween. I don't know. Um, uh, it might have been as a, in high school. Yes. Well, you, you know, you're right. You actually, I actually am a researcher at the U, and we actually so uh, we work uh, through the lab, with Dr. Brian Moriarty and Dr. Bo Weber. We're doing research on osteosarcoma. So the dollars that you guys are donating today actually go help um, us and other researchers at the university develop new therapies for cancer and. Recently, within the last few years, you've actually been able to start new clinical trials with your help. So um, if you're tuning in today, you know, pitch what you can. We know there's a lot going on right now. But um, knowing that this money is going to help make a better future and help live on with Zach's mission of uh, making a world without osteosarcoma and other pediatric cancers. So thanks for being here today. And Mitch is going to be an incredible doctor someday. I edited his uh, med school essays, or I helped him with them. So I, I can tell you that it's, he's going to be good. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. Um, uh, and another uh, way to, you know, get that money for Zach's fund is to buy his song, Clouds, on iTunes. And 
Okay, do you know what I'm going to say? Should we say it at the same time? Oh my gosh. I doubt this number one on iTunes today for the second time since him the first artist to ever unsigned unsigned artist to ever go number one twice on iTunes. On iTunes. Thank you. So you should buy that still. Um, if you haven't. It's a good song. It's yeah. kind of the reason we're all here. Um, Did they, is there anything else going on with that song? Did that spark any other things? Is there like a, a movie going on? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, sure there is that? a song. There, there's a movie. It's on Disney+. Plus. Um, you should, I think you can get a free subscription or a month subscription. Yeah, one month. month. <laughs> yeah, not a free <laughs> subscription. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, you should really watch it. Um, we're pretty happy with that turned out um justin baldoni uh came into our lives like seven and a half years ago now and um you know he was like i'm gonna do this if you guys will let me and we're like okay (laughs) but he did the most amazing job and involved us so much in it and it feels like this cool like virtual scrapbook of old memories and new memories and old friends, new friends. It's just, I don't know, the coolest thing in a way that like I never expected it to be. So there is a movie. You should watch it. Um, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. when you watch it or when you rewatch it, um, you should stay for the end because I wrote this song called Purple Pink and Justin was so nice to include it. Um, and I think that's what we're going to do next. I think we should do that next. Okay. That seems fitting. Let's do that. Cool. I mean, I'm holding a guitar for a reason. Yeah, yeah let's use it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, yeah. So the song is so, something that I wrote, um, let's see, May 2019. It was I actually finished it on the sixth anniversary of Zach's death. So, which, so I wrote it, like, because I just wanted to hang out with him. Um, and if you write songs or if you write anything, you know, it's like when – the words come out of you fast you're like okay I feel like there's something to this because I'm not second guessing anything and it's like probably coming from a real genuine place um so yeah it's just about wanting to see him again and I guess the cool part of it is that it kind of felt like he was like writing it with me like helped me along because usually I can't write a song that fast but it kind of felt like old times when we were um just coming up with things left and right and um, just writing them down. So the song's called Purple Pink. Um, I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess I'm just play. We're going to start over. Hey, let's make a deal. You pay me a visit and I'll make you a meal. Never knew you to turn down food, so I'll fix you a plate just in case. Just knock, the doorbell stinks. Enjoy your float on over, the sky is purple pink. Yeah, kick off your shoes. Our couch could be more comfy, but it beats our old church pew, so what's to lose if you stay a while? Some new material and I kill to make you smile. So what you say? Stay. And by material, well I meant jokes. But we can play some songs too, like we used to for our folks. Oh, you know this too. I guess that I've been humming it since last. Days a while. You should really take note. I miss you and your Argos socks. Okay, stay. And I know that I did not say happy birthday. 
could stay a little while longer or stop by when I'm dreaming and I'll sleep another hour so what you say stay for that I pray every day so if you can stay gonna keep singing. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. So, what was your favorite scene from the movie? I mean, there's so many. Um, I think though, if I had to probably choose a favorite, it's uh, either one of the scenes of where Amy Adamley is running and uh, <laughs> of her very stylish. We run. actually have Amy Adamley here, and you know, while she's here, let's just have her get up and do a little run across the screen. Just show us that example of running. It's not Amy. fair that we have to. Be yeah, honest. we got a no thanks. Um, well, well, it really wasn't. Maybe, maybe if we this. donate, if maybe if we reach a certain amount, oh, yeah, we get Amy to run across the screen. What are we at right now, Laura? <laughs> Oh, I think if we get to a thousand, Amy will run across the screen. A thousand? All right. All right. Okay. Woohoo! I love an incentive program. Let's do it. Okay. Cool. Well, do you have another favorite scene? Oh yeah, I do have another. I have several favorite scenes. Um, probably my other <laughs> favorite scene is when uh, Zach, played by Finn Argus, and uh, Rob, played by Tom Everett Scott, are in the car jamming out to uh, some forty one. Just think it really embodies Zach uh, punk rock phase very mm -hmm. well. Yeah. yeah, when they let loose. They let loose a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Have a little fun. Have a little fun, and uh, nobody blames them for singing off key or yeah, anything no. or no forgetting judgment. the words. Judgment free zone. Yeah. Yeah, I love that it's part. Not the whole internet watching them or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So we're not gonna sing a Sum Forty One song. Oh. We are gonna sing a Blink One Eighty Two song. Another one of Zach's faves. Yeah. So I hope everyone here can tap into their early two thousands energy and uh, rock it out a little bit. Maybe. Yeah. Um, mosh, if you want. Yeah, moshing welcome. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> In the car, I just can't wait To pick you up on a very first day your hand is it wrong if i think it's lame to dance do you like my stupid hair would you guess i didn't know what to wear i'm too scared of what you think you make me nervous so i really can't eat let's go don't wait this night's almost over honest let's make this night last forever Last forever, forever and ever. Let's make this last forever. When you smile and melt inside, I'm not worthy for a moment of your time. I really wish it was only me and you. I'm jealous of everybody in the room. Please don't look at me with those eyes. Target that I'm probably gonna miss. Let's go. Don't wait. <laughs> this night's almost over. Honest. Let's make this night last forever. Forever and ever. Let's make this last forever. Forever and ever. Let's make this last forever. All right, Rob promised he'd mosh at this part, but I do not see him. Please mosh for Rob at home. <laughs> Let's go. Don't wait. This night lasts forever. <laughs> Honest. Let's make this night last forever. Forever and ever. Let's make this last forever. Forever and ever. Let's make this last forever. Let's not make this last forever because we just got some really exciting news. We are up to $1,000 in the course of what? A song? Two? Wow. A song, a single song. You guys are amazing. Um, all right. 
Quiet on set. Quiet on set. Per. <laughs> Believe it or not, that was her. That was not that was body Amy double. Adamley from Woodbury. What's the name of the dance studio? Woodbury Dance Studio. There we go. <laughs> Amy WDIO, and it's fine. <laughs> okay, if you're confused about why Amy's running across the screen, um, look out for her cameo in Clouds. She plays the dance teacher because she's an amazing dancer back in high school. Now Madison's playing her, so Amy has nobody to play. Um, so she's playing the dance teacher, and she's like, "Hey, Madison, Amy." Uh, Zach's on the news, and she taps, and then Amy runs across very urgently, and we're really glad that Justin kept that scene in the movie. Um, and I'm sure you are too now. Whew. So, uh, are we due for another... Um, what's going on with, with Finn? Finn? That's what's happening? Finn Argus? Yeah. You mean the star of... Nope. Clouds? Clouds? Yeah. Video. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're watching a video. Okay. Watch video. That's, yeah. that's. My name is Grace Zobiak. I want to tell you about my brother, Zach. For 14 years, he was my best friend, my other half. In 2009, we found out he had osteosarcoma, a deadly bone cancer. In 2012, his treatment stopped working, and his doctor told us he had a year to live. Zach could have given up, but that wasn't him. He wanted to make his time count. He wanted it to mean something. So Zach and our family teamed up with Children's Cancer Research Fund to create the Zach Sobiak Osteosarcoma Fund. Zach was a musician, and he wrote the song Clouds to say goodbye to his family and friends. His song went viral and inspired thousands around the world, and when he passed away in 2013, his story pushed Clouds to number one on iTunes. All proceeds from Zach's music go to his fund. Before he died, Zach said, I want to be known as the kid who went down fighting and didn't really lose. Zach got his wish. His fund has raised millions of dollars, made possible 16 new discoveries, and jump-started a clinical trial for a new drug. Thanks to him, researchers are finding better treatments and are coming closer to finding a cure every day. To learn more, visit childrenscancer.org slash Zach. Thank you. Okay, anybody hiring voice actors right now should hire Grace Sobiak, because I was blown away by that. That was amazing. That was so calming and yeah. convincing. Do you know how I'm also blown away by it? Oh, Sammy. Finn Argus. Oh my god, he's amazing. He's the best. Yeah, he's the, uh, the best Zach there could be and is. Yes. For a movie, yeah. For a movie, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, without further ado, um, can we phone this friend? Let's 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 give him a call. Beep, beep. Lifeline. Oh, thank God he's there. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey. How are you? I'm good. I uh, I can't see you, but I love hearing your voices. <laughs> oh, thank you. I love hearing yours. Um, oh, yeah. So I know you can't see us, so you're just gonna have to believe us. But we're in the basement that we actually met you in. The Sobiak's oh, house, Sobiak. believe it or not. Is that where, where I crushed you guys in Catan? Hmm, I have a different memory of how things went down, but um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I think Madison was actually the, um, oh, what's the, you're the trash true. talker, and I think she beat us. Um, absolutely true. <laughs> yeah, it, she, she got us pretty good. But yeah, we met down here, and I think it was like probably the weirdest and coolest weekend ever, um, besides this one maybe. Um, it felt like a cool, like little family reunion. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm no, that's, exaggerating. That's how but... me and, and Madison felt too. It was strange. It kind of felt like meeting old friends, yeah. which, you know, of course doesn't make sense because we've never <laughs> met prior to that. But I don't know. There was just, there was just some like cosmic connection. I can't explain it, but. Yeah. It, was, it felt yeah. like you had been in that basement before. Um, yeah. yeah. And we <laughs> went to the river. So much fun. Um, do you remember like any of the advice we gave you? Cause I know like Justin and Ahmed asked us to give you some words. It's okay. I think the <laughs> one that, that really stuck with me was Rob's advice. Oh. <laughs> he, uh, he said a succinct and really meaningful sentence. And it was just this, don't screw it up. Oh, 
oh my gosh, you know what? He actually told us the same thing right before coming on this Facebook Live. <laughs> and we actually have Rob in the room right now. Do you want to just yell it? Yeah. Don't, Don't screw it up. Uh, all right, I'll try my best. It seems <laughs> pretty effective so far. So yeah, you know, there's still time. But yeah, well, I think you just did the best job ever in this movie, and um, there's nobody else who could have played our friend. It was a tall order. He's very tall, but so are you. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and... Like lanky six foot one kids with curly blonde hair <laughs> yeah you you really fit the bill but then like you surprised us even more by like seeming like you would be just such a good friend of his because you're such a good friend of ours um i i was just like in awe of you the whole time mitch weren't you i yeah i was <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, it was, so it's, I, uh, I mean it i've said this a million times and i probably should say it to you guys more but all the all the props goes to you guys for opening up about your story and you guys have been so gracious with with your time and spirit there's no way that of course i mean we couldn't have done this without you guys yeah mm -hmm. well it's easy when it's people like you guys yeah i mean i don't think there's anybody who is better suited to take that on and you know respect uh respect the story and i think I, we know you know you, you live by it and it's uh it's something yeah. that you, you put a lot of work into and we sell that and so yeah, it's just been it's been amazing to see and amazing, you know, a year later and um, still gone. We're just gassing you up. I hope this is making you feel comfortable. I'm so excited to play some songs now. Yeah, we got you all warmed up. Um, yeah. What are you going to play? Uh, I think I'm going to start with My Little Dancer. Ooh. I love that yeah. one. Do you have a story yeah, what, to this one? What's the deal with this one? Yeah, tell us. Yeah, about okay. So this one this is a pretty awesome backstory. Uh, for those of you who have seen the movie, you may not know the title of this song, but you heard it. It's uh, the scene where I'm sitting in bed with Amy, played by Madison Eisman, and uh, I play this brief um, snippet of of a love song. And this song came to be right before we started filming, I think. And Justin Valdoni, our director, he texted me saying that he wanted me to come up with like a short, funny song. And the idea was that it would be something like 15 seconds, like quirky, like, Amy, you're so cool. Oh, Amy, I love you. You know, just something like that. <laughs> just like him, uh, yeah. <laughs> but then I sat down and uh, I was reading through the letters that, that Amy shared with me, the letters between... Zach and, and herself and there was this line that really stuck out to me and I think it might have been the first line of one of the letters if I remember correctly but it was the line um, when you hear the birds know it's me just saying hello from the clouds wow. and, and I was like no, wait a second I'm not writing a funny song anymore like I'm <laughs> writing a full-on love song and um, I started noodling playing some chords and then I remember that I had taken photos of uh, Zach's journal when, when I visited in, in Minnesota and uh, Laura let me uh, read through some of his unfinished lyrics and there's even some chord progressions that I don't think were applied to any songs. So I looked at that chord progression and those lyrics and you know the chord progression I had already come up with and I had started writing my own lyrics for the song as well. I realized that the chord progression in his journal was the exact same one that I had already been playing, which I, I can't explain. Wow. I can't explain how that happened. I got chills the second I realized, and I don't know. I mean, I I don't really know where it came from. It just seemed like some sort of divine intervention. I, I'm not even, I'm not sure, but I felt like it was kind of, it was kind of like blessed in a weird way. And, and then I used those lyrics, so come and grab my hands and we can do a dance when we still have the chance. That was from Zach's journal as well. And then it turned into this full length love song called My Little Dancer. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, I, and then we ended up using it in the movie, which is really crazy and yeah. And, yeah, and, the, full, and really the full version's on the soundtrack too, and I've been listening to it a lot, yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. No, but... I'm seeing the purple pink like nonstop. Oh, that's so nice. Um, but no, when you were talking about like 
the inexplicable feeling of like writing it with somebody else. That's kind of how I felt with Purple Pink, where I'm like, huh, I don't usually um, like get these words out as fast, like this fast, and um, they don't feel as like 100% right the first time. Um, yeah. So I, yeah, it's cool. That's, that's, yeah, that's definitely how I felt. Cause I was so nervous. I was like, how do I write a song in, yeah. in Zach's um, perspective? Like, there's so I, much pressure but, on you. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of pressure. But then when I had those those few lines that were from him, it just kind of made it all super easy. Um, right. Yeah, and then it just it happened naturally. Yeah. Well, should we hear it? Yeah, let's do it. Dope. This is my little dancer. <laughs> When you hear the words, no, it's me. Just say hello from the clouds. I won't be coming down, my little dancer. This is not the end. Still be in the sky as a little dancer's boyfriend. So, oh, 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 come and grab my hand and we can do a dance. We still have a chance. So, oh, 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 come and grab my hand and we can do a dance. You've always known I was destined to leave, but you stand so strong and you stand by me, and I will own you all my love and my life from above. So, oh, 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 come and grab my hand and we can do a dance while we still have a chance. Oh, 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 come and grab my hand and we can do a dance while we still have a chance. My little dancer, this isn't the end. Cause in your eyes I'll always be my little dancer's boyfriend. So, oh, 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 come and grab my hand. And we can do a dance while we still have a chance. Oh, oh, oh. Still have the chance. Woo -hoo! <laughs> okay. That, that, that was, was like it. the best sounding performance through a bunch of computers that I've ever heard. That sounded so good. I caught Amy's eye during it and she was like, yeah. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> well, thank you so much. <laughs> this is actually, I just realized this is the guitar I used in the movie too. Oh, no oh, way. Nice. It's like a fun little thing. <laughs> you just did you just bring your own? Yeah, they ended up asking me to use my own guitar because um, it has nylon strings, so okay. it sounds just a little softer. And I think this scene was uh, very like soft. Yeah. Yeah. Moment. So it's it's nice. Have you ever done anything with like so much music in it, like movie or TV wise? Like uh, what was that? Like have you so like you have you ever done like a movie or TV production where you played so much and then like you're kind of doing so much music part of it no this is 
definitely it's not uncharted territory because when I started acting I did musical theater so that's like all it was was singing dancing and acting and all that fun stuff but I stopped doing musical theater when I was like 13 and I haven't done anything like that since so all of my music has just been my solo music that I write and then release and the acting was totally separate so it was really really cool to be able to do both at the same time again and it kind of reignited a passion in me I don't know maybe we will try to go to Broadway or something <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it was really fun it was like just all around the best experience I've ever had on a set or a project or honestly just in my life it, it was just such an amazing experience filming and yeah. to have you guys around too for a lot of it and being able to meet you before like I don't know it just it felt really special yeah then, I think it would have been weird if we like met on set but yeah. having that like chance to hang out before was great oh, and man. then like once we were on set we could just like well, once you're done with your like 12 hour day, we can <laughs> yeah. chill and just, yeah, yeah, you know. And I think, I think we both talk about this a lot, but just like us being on set, we could like just feel the energies from everyone and see how much everyone cared about it. And it, it was just, it was cool. unbelievable. Yeah. Like you, I mean, obviously we th think our friend is cool, but like to have so many people who had never met him and like individually come up to us um, saying like, being on set doesn't always feel like this like on movies like a lot of the times like it's just like cool but it's like a job but this mm -hmm. is like you can feel something in the air and everyone's like on the same page and just like yeah like let's do Zach proud and you totally did um so yeah and I feel like that's like kind of like the nucleus of so much of this stuff is like just a lot of people who don't know each other getting together and yeah. like I don't know showing love right and and building bonds and things like that, um, that I think Zach exhibited in his own life and now we're just seeing it. Still. Yeah. yeah. I think it, it largely was the example that Zach set for everyone. Because mm -hmm. we're already thinking about, about Zach's message, you know, while we're, everyone's read the script, everyone knows the story. Like it, there's a, almost a sense of gravity uh, w when we were filming and, uh, everyone was really invested in the story and everyone wanted to make it the best it could possibly be for Zach and, mm -hmm. and for you guys. So yeah, it's definitely unlike any other set I've been on because we all felt like we were doing something that, that really mattered. And, and it does, you know, like right now we're raising money for a uh, children's cancer research fund. Yeah. Like this is making a difference and that's what Zach's song does as well. Like clouds hitting number one on iTunes. Like that's, yeah. It's so cool. Yeah. It's actually going to yeah. have an impact, you know, and that's super unusual for yeah. a sort of like Hollywood uh, production. I think, I think things are leaning more in that direction nowadays, but um, this is definitely uh, a special movie mm -hmm. in every single way. I probably said the word special like 17 times. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. just how it feels. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I know Laura often says, like, if this was just about Zach, it wouldn't have been worth it. Like, it's so much bigger than him. And like, that's how he lived. I mean, obviously, he loved the attention. There's no kidding about that. Um, yeah. But, you know, that's what made him you know, so likable, too. But um, I think Zach and I have that in common, too. Because <laughs> yeah. you know? like, you, you see my old home videos, and I was such a ham. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Now yeah. I'm an actor, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, yeah, playing that was just the best, and I got friends and, and family out of it, what the heck? I know. That's the part. Like, I miss you guys. I really wish we could be together in person. Yeah. For all, but, but this is good, too. This is yeah. good, too. Yeah. Well, are you going to play a song that's, like, kind of why we're all here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is a little ditty I like to call Clouds mm. by Zach Sobiet. And it is arguably the best song that's ever existed. <clears throat> okay. I feel like he introed his song as that once. So nice. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. On plan. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's do it. Cool. Down into this 
something wrong with you. There was no one that could care about me anymore. And I knew right away it's a cloud and round hole. I made as you were sitting there. Oh, then I wrote, and we'll go up, 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 but I'll fly a little higher. Go up in the clouds because it's a little nicer. Look here, my here, it won't be long now. It won't be long now. When we get back on land, well, I'll never get my chance. Be ready to lift, and it'll be ripped right out my hands. And maybe someday we'll take a little ride. We'll go up. Up, up, and everything will be just fine, and we'll go up, 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 but I'll fly a little higher, go up in the clouds, because the view's a little nicer, up here, my dear, it won't be long now, it won't be long now, if only I had a little bit more time. If only I had a little bit more time with you, we could go up, 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 and see that little ride. We'll sit there holding hands, and everything will be just right. And maybe someday I'll see you again. We'll float up in the clouds, and we'll never see the end. And we'll go up, 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 but I'll fly a little higher. We'll go up in the clouds because the views a little nicer. But here, my dear, it won't be long now. It won't be long now. We'll go up, 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 but I'll fly a little higher. Yes. Oh, it's a beautiful fan. As Randy Jackson would say, you really made it your own. Oh, well, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, do you want to tell us about when you met somebody pretty cool? We all met somebody pretty cool on set. Uh, Jason Mraz. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was um, actually one of the most... Uh, I don't think I've ever been like that nervous and excited. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> we shot this scene in, in the concert hall. This is what you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> Um, and, and Jason Raz was performing, you know? Uh -huh. And the scene was that we were at a Jason Raz concert, and I've been such a huge Jason Raz fan for, like, my whole life. And when I first started writing music, it was basically, like, I was trying to emulate Jason Mraz style. Yep. That's, King that's what chill. Was. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I was, the first song I learned how to play on the guitar was I'm Yours. And Zach and I would cover that one all the time, too. Yeah. Yeah. That was the go-to. Like, if, if it was a family event, mm -hmm. I would just be like, <laughs> Well, you don't me that I felt you. Oh, my gosh. What a classic. What a so, classic. So anyway, we uh, were filming in this concert sequence and Jason Mraz was actually there, mm -hmm. super cool. And um, there was one take, I think it was at the end of, of shooting for that scene. And Justin was like, okay, let's do one more take. And then, uh, then we'll move on. And, um, Sabrina and I were in character, like in the audience watching Jason perform. They had like a bunch of cameras going at the same time. Yeah. So I thought we were, you know, just filming the scene another time where we're watching, watching Jason Mraz and like, oh, this is great. <laughs> um, which wasn't hard for me to do. And then when Jason walks on stage, everyone's cheering like, oh, Jason. Uh, he goes, okay, so 
For this one, we're gonna do something a little special. We're gonna have Finn and Sabrina come up on stage. And I was so confused because I was like, oh, he messed up his line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he should have said our real names. But then I was like, wait, he doesn't call Zach and Sammy up on stage either. Mm -hmm. What's going on? <laughs> I, uh, I kind of short circuited. And uh, then we went up on the stage and he had us play I'm Yours with him. Oh, the, yeah. the really stressful thing though is like, he didn't want to sing. He just wanted us to play it. Yeah. I was like, oh, I, can't, I can't handle that kind of pressure. <laughs> I hadn't played it in, in a while. So I was kind of nervous that, that I was going to mess it up. But it was really fun and probably one of the coolest moments of my life. I was really fangirling. Like, yep. Yeah. yeah, it was like we got a two for that night, like all of us in the audience. Yeah. First, yeah. Mr. Mrazzle Dazzle, as I we like to call him. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then <laughs> you guys, and you like, totally killed it. Yeah. Yeah, our friend Andrea Spenner started uh, a chant. Uh, when I say Mrazzle, you say Dazzle, Mrazzle, Dazzle. Dazzle. And like a lot of the um, the kids from Montreal were like, what is happening? <laughs> but I was kind of like, what's happening as well? Yeah. Well, I don't remember that specifically. Yeah, it's okay. I won't tell him. I, I hope he's not watching. I, I blacked out for most of that. Like, yeah. my memory of being on that stage is non existent. But I see videos and I'm like, oh, it happened. Yeah, but I just like blacked out because I was so shocked and excited. Yep. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, That's like the whole experience of filming clouds. It feels like a fever dream. <laughs> yeah, I know. Every time I see like a new video, I'm like, okay, so it was real. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. When the trailer came out, I was like, huh, so we really made a movie. <laughs> <laughs> now it's coming out. And now it's out. I, I just can't wrap my head around it, but it's so exciting and cool. Yeah. Well, we're so happy to know you. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy to know you guys, too. Thanks for letting me crash your performance. Thank you so much. We were starting to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> the light beating down on you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. it's, it looks like it's up to $2,080. That's awesome. Oh, hey, guys. Hey. That's what this is all about. Yeah. Keep it up. Do it. Yeah, I think well, we got like what like 15 minutes left or something. Yeah. Let's amp it up, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll let you guys take the reins again. Thank right. you so much for letting me hop on. Oh, it's so good to see you both. I, I actually have you up on my computer screen down here. Oh, so, so you can see us now. <laughs> <I'm waiting> now. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> All right. Love you. Love you, Finn. Love you too. T -T Bye. All right. Well, close out the music? No. We what? will not. We have a special little tour going oh, on. Okay. Uh, Laura is in Zach's room right now. Over to you, Laura. <laughs> 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 Thanks, you guys. That is a tough act to follow. I want to start. So we're going to do just a quick tour of Zach's room. Um, this will be kind of fun for those of you who've seen the film. And if you haven't seen the film yet, you can look for some of these things in the film. Um, so I wanted to start with just showing you, so shameless plug for Clouds, a memoir, but I wanted to show you this picture of Finn, who, mwah, Finn, you did an amazing job playing Zach and playing his music. I love you. But I wanted to show you this cover, and then this is the actual shirt that Zach, or that Zach wore and Finn wore um, in the film. So I'm going to show you just a couple of cool things that were in the film that are also in Zach's room. For you to look at and look for. So here's a quilt that you'll see. It's in the last scene of the film. This is a quilt that was made by a bunch of family and friends. A um, bunch of people signed it right before Zach died. So we shipped this up to Montreal for the filming and they used it in that last scene. Um, so this bison or buffalo is in the scene or in a couple scenes where, where Finn is in Zach's bedroom, which looks a lot like this. So you'll have to check that out too. For whatever reason, he loved this thing. So I sent it up. It's even ripped. Daisy chewed it to bits. And Zach would joke that Daisy gave him a thoracotomy. Anyway, he had this with him all the time. Um, these, we sent these pillowcases up. So you'll recognize these from the set as well. And... They made a replica of this billboard or this bulletin board behind me. This is a this is a map of Paris that Zach kept from our trip to Lourdes. 
and then Vikings posters. And I don't know. Do you guys know who that band is? Anybody? No. We don't remember who that is. They probably do, but I don't. Um, we still have his wallet. So his wallet is still sitting by his bed. There's his, I think these are his fifth grade championship, fourth and fifth grade championship um, football trophies. They won those two years. This is his Emmy for the Clouds video, so that's kind of cool. Here are the crutches that Finn used. Um, these were Zach's crutches, his actual crutches, and so we have those back in his room. These are just, it was cool to see Finn on these because they were such an extension of Zach when Zach was alive, to see Finn being sort of held up by them. Um, that was really emotional for me when I saw him on those crutches for the first time. Um, all of you who've seen the film will recognize these beauties. <laughs> um, these glasses, I hated because they're so freaky. Uh, Zach loved them, and I love that they made it into the film because they bring a lot of levity to a, a really um, hard scene. Um, so you'll recognize these. And then we've got a Vikings football that's been signed it's by a couple of the Vikings. We've got his, this is a, a basketball that his team from ninth grade, they all signed. We've got a Stillwater Ponies um, baseball helmet, or I'm sorry, <laughs> football helmet. Zach didn't play football, but the team gave him that. Um, and then this clock back here, that was not ours, but it's in his bedroom in the scenes. And so the the um, the set designers packed that up and sent it to us, and I just thought it was kind of cool. Um, and then this is a piece that Amy's family gave Zach. They named a star after him, and they plotted it out. And there's the the um, and then this is Star Hopping, the song written out, and you'll see this also in the film. Um, so that was just a quick tour of Zach's room, and I hope that you'll be able to pick some of those things out when you see the film or go back and watch it again. Um, and thank you tonight for watching and for donating. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. I believe that was My Chemical Romance pictured. Um, Mitch. <laughs> We have one more song, and it's actually the first song Zach and I ever wrote right on the couch where Amy is sitting right now. Um, yeah, I think how it happened, I think we had a bunch of people over earlier in the day, and we were like, oh, let's start a band, you know, like, you know, those hangouts where everyone's like, let's start a band. And then we spent like an hour, like, looking up songs to cover, just, you know, to warm up, and then... You know, people had to go home for dinner, um, and that was cut short. Uh, but I probably, like, stuck around at the Sobiacs for dinner that night, and we were just like, let's just try to write something ourselves. And um, my great-grandma, I took her uh, grocery shopping back in the day, and uh, I remember her saying, like, oh, the dandelions are going to seed. Um, so I was just like, all right, going to plagiarize grandma for this first line because I thought it was a sweet way to put it. Um, and then we just went from there. It's called blueberries. The word does not appear in the song, but um, <laughs> that just kind of shows how uh, off the cuff we were. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Dandelions have gone to seed It's my soul I need to feed The trees stand so tall and bare And here I stand without a care Pumpkin seeds stuck in my teeth There's something more I need to be More than just a silly girl Waiting for the sun to hurl
our, Reed, our drummer Reed would do a bird whistle solo here. <laughs> Birds and bees are here again. We haven't talked since God knows when. I like to dance on the sprouting grass. If it snows again, then I'll have to ask. Why the hell are the seasons fickle just like you? You rip my heart in half, I'll stitch it up if it's certain we are through. June bugs, butterflies, sand in my pants, midnight moon in those pesky little ants. You're here once more to try your luck. Well, I'm done with you, you sneaky little duck. Now it's over, there's nothing left for us to do. Besides acknowledging the repelling forces that are me and Mitch is a little blueberry himself tonight. Aww. Well, what's the time? Uh, how, mu- how much money have we raised? Did we do a good job? Two thousand something. All right. Well, we expect much more <laughs> next time we check. No, this was seriously great. You guys, um, uh, overwhelmed by all of the love and the joy and the cash dollar bills people have been throwing toward Zach and. Us, not the money part for us, but <laughs> so, yeah, just like so much love in the air, and we appreciate it. And, yeah. and, and reiterating that you know this this is making a difference. Things have happened yeah. with this money, and things are continue happen and helping create a better future for those with cancer. So thank you again for all your help today. Yeah. So love you. Bye. Thank you. Vote. <laughs> Got to say vote. that. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs>